Hi guys, my name is Nada Serafimovic. I'm a children's book illustrator from Belgrade, Serbia. I'm currently in Tokyo, Japan, and I wanted to make a few videos about how I spent time here, one day in life of children's book illustrator in Japan while I'm here, because it's a de definitely different dynamics than when I'm in Belgrade. And uh, yeah, I wanted to show you in today's video my um, updated um, travel um, art supplies because I bought a lot of here and I wanted to show you progress in my travel journal. So yeah, let's go! Okay, first let me show you my workspace, that's pretty much all. And of course it's always very messy and Boyan insisted putting figurines to make my day <laughs> look nicer because this room doesn't have uh, it has a window <clears throat> but it doesn't have a daylight which tells you should you be um, sleeping or be awake so uh, this is my mobile studio pro 13 it's um, it's uh, I was probably one of the first like first a few thousand people to buy this actually my um, very good friend got but but bought this for me from US and brought it to Serbia and that way I spent like thousand bucks less uh, thanks to him thanks for him. first portable computer by vacuum is the the one that one is working on and we came and I realized I can talk into camera <laughs> so uh, and then we realized as soon as we landed and uh, came uh, from Narita airport and started to you know putting together our working stations because we have to work when we travel that's our <laughs> style um, let's just you know set up around the room and we, re we realized the pen is not there so we were looking everywhere even before the trip and then we, we realized he tried with the mouse he tried this and that and then we realized we have to buy one and Wacom is actually a Japanese uh, licensed patent and it's always available here for purchase and even if it's an older um, uh, pen model there is always um, available for for us to buy online or whatever look at some shops and as we don't speak Japanese obviously we're newbies here we fortunately have one friend here uh, and her name is Yuko and she bought online for us and even spent a little bit less of money so that's uh, another working station we have here and um, that's pretty much it all about uh, update on travel journal and art supplies but I'm always chatty so <laughs> I think this is such a unique experience because when I lived in Paris for two months that changed me like completely I always wanted to travel and to live somewhere else few months at a time and to always change locations and that's why I wanted to be a freelance illustrator that's the main reason why I didn't want to get any jobs like from 9 to 5 because they only have 20 days a year that where, where you have practically to be everything like like sick and all that and to go to your vacation and I never approved that because I had different um, thing on my mind so yeah this is like happening and this is our super low budget modest uh, stay in Japan and uh, when uh, locals approach us which is not so often but it's also not a rare um, occasion um, rare thing to happen um, they ask us oh two months but it's expensive I, I mean locals who are saying it's expensive for you to come here for two months and saying hmm yeah it is <laughs> and it was even five times more expensive than we thought uh, then I did uh, like a deep research especially on prices because I needed to make a budget idea on how much we have to you know uh, prepare you know to stay here uh, how much money so yeah basically uh, even locals are like <laughs> behaving strange when we when we say how much we're staying here and I'm then it's even more like a tune for me because I lowered my standards and then it happened like for a longer while and I can still work and walk and blah 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 
So yeah, let's go to the desk. Oh, I'm also researching on um, whether there are some uh, videos on travel journal because I named my um, journal like this, like an illustrated travel journal because I realized there is a lot of scrapbooking and I really wanted to do this as professional as it can be, you know, in the my Muna notebook which I talked a lot in uh, in other videos and I will probably do honest review when I come back again uh, so uh, yeah these are the uh, it says beautiful color water color watercolor paint set um, so these are like from Daiso it's 100 yen challenge for me because this cannot be you know we're in Japan so it cannot be that bad um, but let's see how how uh, vibrant the colors are and let's let's do it when we uh, get back to Belgrade so that's one update on my let's say travel art supplies because I'm so honestly keen to try them here because I'm always changing my ideas what should I do on my travels I wanted to I bought even one more and then one more um, sketchbook to use here and I'm uh, running out of um, uh, place in my first uh, very first Daiso sketchbook so yeah, I bought a lot of erasers, and I bought some things to um, give to someone as a souvenir, but it's also a very nice marker. And this was like a big surprise for me to uh, finally, finally find it as a, a lower cost. It was 300 yen, and uh, in a 100 yen store, but there are some more expensive items. And I was like not thinking like this is like iconic thing that every illustrator has on their table and I like the modern ones which have um, much more details and different hands to change and blah blah maybe I'll buy that one in the future but this one was super cool like iconic to have um, okay yeah so uh, as for sketchbooks these have like a thicker paper and this one is like a base paper basic uh, thin paper but it's uh, absorbing pretty well so that's for that's from Daiso let's go to um, oh this is also another Daiso I realize I don't have colored pencils and these were like okay sharpen sharpen uh, so these were um, like five is 400 yen and uh, they are not completely erasable but as I don't use a razor like at all or not not much just when I really like the drawing and I want to go somewhere over then I use the blue um, blue side of that color pencil and that's you know because there there were two uh, like red and blue and three only red but I love the red I love the orange I used to use orange a lot back in the days and this is um, the box from vacuum pen that our Yuko friend, wonderful friend, um, helped us buy. And then I realized I can put every, everything in here. And as you can see, there is just a lot. I mean, when I say a lot, um, yeah, no. So uh, what 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 was the trick? The 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 evolution of this travel journal. It's not you know it's not done yet, but. At the beginning, I thought uh, I would do just just black. I'm like that. I'm bold, and I want to wanted to give some um, some possibilities in editing phase after to probably add some colors and to be you know free to do that and maybe trace it in Illustrator and then to be you know more clean looking. But then I bought this one. Kuretake in calligraphy shop and this one in Daiso for 100 yen. This is zebra that I I use uh, a zebra. Oh my god, I don't have it here. Yeah, I used uh, this one like gray all the time for years now, and I did. Uh, I mean the gray, um, like a pen looking, but this light gray is actually gray inside, and uh, I was uh, amazed that they have it. I didn't know. Um, so I, I jumped uh, right away, bought it, and then I realized, okay, I can do some like um, casted shadows. I mean, it's obviously cartoony and no sense, but to add some more depth, 
depth in a way and then um, yeah just to play a little bit more right there on the spot and I bought like a very few I will show you this this is the only thing I bought from brought from Bellary like this these are from Paris this is Copic that I always talk about this is this is I don't use this one I mean I'm like um, I use it a lot and now I'm bored and this is the only one that is waterproof and that's what I need because I most most often add grays at the end <laughs> but yeah I, I'm I'm messing it up messing it up in totally and I just really have a good time must say so let's see I think that's it uh, yeah the red one and god knows uh, I packed in a really big hurry uh, so this this is mainly with a Copic what that I the only thing I brought and now <laughs> you can see in this um, travel journal um, this is not finished this is my uh, Gachapon Hunt uh, page and uh, these are candy sweets sorry uh, this is not a page I think this is finished but it started because obviously my, my bag is kind of dirty it started having some traces that I don't want in, the, in, in there and this is sketch with the red pencil which I said to myself I will not use it I will use, all, use only silver and then I didn't I really like the red contrast because I can see what I drew and uh, make the best of it in ink after that so um, yeah this is a wonderful <clears throat> a glass um, hairdressing piece uh, that was in color like red uh, yellow and green like a rose and it was in my hair when I was wearing kimono this is um, Sakura Mochi um, which was a handmade uh, yeah, handmade, uh, homemade, and uh, it was the most tasty I tried because I don't like the red bean paste. And uh, we've seen a lot of birds, obviously. This is uh, element from Yukata, Boyan's, um, uh, Boyan's outfit. Yeah, these are my swollen feet in, uh, yeah, in flip flops. Um, yeah. And this is a typography so these two pages I think are, are done and I started on Osaka double page where I wanted to break uh, let's say make some kind of it's not a fish eye it's definitely not a fish eye but I wanted to bring some new kind of perspective and then add some collage elements on the left which are not belonging into any kind of angle perspective or something and then to play with all the adverts they have and this is <clears throat> this is the bridge in Osaka this is the river so yeah, let's see how that um, how that goes um, this is <laughs> uh, Boyan and I were absolutely amazed how vegetables are absolutely huge here Ex um, especially beets and uh, yeah I wanted to make something funny about it with um, Veggie Bird character this you've seen in my previous updates on travel journal and it's um yeah it's a panoramic view there is a sky tree there and i just uh yeah this is where i really like i was coming back for to finish this like four times and it was always different lightning but i kept pretty much the same because i wanted to do the air perspective where something that is you know more behind is lighter and this is more contrasty and uh, yeah I'm really proud of this you know because I, I don't have many opportunity to do this um, like a life drawing li landscape okay this is and looks very empty but this is going to be very funny Kyoto double page where Boyan and I are represented as the birds in kimonos <clears throat> uh, Okay, so this is Boyan feeding the deer and they are bowing to each other and uh, um, this is in plan like to the script Nara, the way it looks, the pagoda and then I made a joke like dearest Nara because deers were so 
so nice to us and so kind and they were very friendly. Uh, of course, you have to know how to behave with them. This is a very rough and I love these. Um, you know what watercolor artists are usually avoiding? That's what I love. I love those uh, muddy areas because they give some sort of flair at the end when you add all those precise architectural details. This will give it still some kind of dynamic and freedom that goes from underneath. So this is Hamamatsu, very small, nice, uh, cute castle. And this is, uh, yeah, I don't know what. This is some kind of a free page where I also wanted to uh, show uh, show up my Gachapon uh, catches, but I'm not sure how it will look at the end. And I was so impressed with Chibi that I wanted to, and of course, uh, mangas, Chibi manga, that I wanted to use uh, my Biggie Bird character, like a regular one, and then try Chibi eyes. And then, yeah, it uh, went viral. <laughs> I don't know if that has any sense, but yeah, I just did it. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit too dark. I will definitely work on contrast when I come back. And this is what I'm really <laughs> proud of, uh, because uh, I couldn't imagine myself drawing architecture. I, I pretty much suck at that. And then I ended up uh, at some cafe um, doing like um, something from memory um, and then adding uh, like a crazy perspective angle. This is not an uphill street. Uh, everything is almost flat in Tokyo. There are no hills, let's say. But I wanted to make a little bit more dynamic. Uh, here is a, uh, here's where you go into metro like a metro uh, subway station and I had a vending machine and uh, like one thing led to another and as we had a nice view from the cafe I noticed this building and I was really trying to portray this um, lettering and to make this but it was under totally another angle and this is ginkgo tree I love ginkgo trees here um, they're totally yellow in winter and um, yeah I just uh, now after a month you just uh, I mean you soak in so many informations and then I think you can start manipulating with them and this is I mean very modest but it's a proof that it can be done that's for sure okay moving on yeah so I uh, made I wanted to do like Akihabara here and this is Osaka castle also started only with tones <clears throat> And uh, this is uh, this double page will be Shibuya Crossing, which I have to study and have to look at the um, footage and then we want to go there again. And this is something that I want to do on the spot in Shinjuku and I want to do all these adverts and lamps and lanterns and the people going by, like something like in Osaka but much more dynamic. Okay, this is uh, dedicated to be a vending machine page. Just sketched only lettering because I, I cannot remember all that. Then uh, robots after getting inspired because we didn't, you know, we we are not uh, inspired yet. This double page I want to dedicate to rickshaw, uh, rickshaw drivers, and in front of Senzoji and uh, in Asakusa. And um, then I really wanted to make some. That these are just. There are just so many wonderful everyday scenes here. Uh, this is like had to be done in Odaiba on spot, uh, where we see the big Gundam and Rainbow Bridge. Hopefully, it will look good. And the uh, UNO Zoo. I wanted to draw animals because this that will be the first time we see koalas alive and red pandas and all that. And I sketched something like. Uh, like epilogue back uh, like um ending page which uh, gives us you know from right to the left we're just going back like in a book <laughs> and th these are becoming memories and then something from panorama from tokyo and then something from belgrade in this heart and uh, the two of us with the suitcases and here i wanted to uh, put all of my most used uh, items on the strip like my uh, um, Adidas Gazelle sneakers that are already broke. So yeah, that, uh, that's basically it. This is something I came up with, uh, like decorative uh, for that maybe design. And uh, yeah, I did a lot of my sticker tours as well. 
so yeah that's basically an update okay now I'm cutting off my uh, footage from new vlogs that you'll be watching soon on YouTube um, yeah uh, so this is um, uh, basically what I've been using in uh, in a, a travel journal and the risky thing when you do this I'm just crazy I just do that um, it's not good to change the texture of the brush um, use all kind of color pencils for sketching it's just giving different flavor to everything and uh, a different look to everything and um, yeah but I did it so let's see the consequences so this one is uh, is Kuretake like super old school um, brush pen for calligraphy traditional Japanese calligraphy and this is what I used the least so I tried it on Osaka um, uh, writing Osaka on my double page um, this is like super rough leaves absolutely gorgeous texture but it's too there it's very hard to control it so let's put it on the side as I use it at, like least and um, this um, this I bought in Daiso and I was using it mostly for daily comic but it's um, I think it's very useful but it's also there is a lot of lick, uh, ink going out so you have to be very fast using it it's usually for like filling some bigger um, doing something really fast or filling some bigger areas with black and uh, it ha also ha gives a um, similar texture but the, the brush pen is smaller much smaller uh, and it's uh, beautiful for 100 yen I think it works absolutely gorgeous sorry I'm holding the camera um, and then uh, I bought this one uh, this is I think also 100 yen or a little bit more I'm trying to you know do the bargain hunt and always uh, because this is just like um, a pen uh, that they use for signing so it should be like something that they use on a regular basis and it shouldn't be that much expensive this is the one I've been using the most and this was five uh, five bucks uh, around five bucks it's Kuretake it's double um, like a twin it has a brush tip and then the other one like a felt tip and I showed it in my previous videos it's absolutely adorable so this this these two three four these I've been using like a lot uh, and so far I can tell like this gray one is the same as the black one I bought them together for uh, toning toned ink um, and this is like going really fast out this is something I'm not really pleased with uh, because I even I that I'm super fast and I love doing uh, like fast gesture um, brush strokes on a paper this is just not convenient to use uh, but I, I, I have been using it and that's the result that you can see in a travel journal because I don't want to buy another one. This is like super control freak gray one that I told you about and this is super for some nice gray details on contrary to the huge uh, like a big and bold um, fields of gray ink uh, and uh, I bought this in Nara this is probably for a control freak like me um, this is like full control um, Thing. absolutely uh, it's also a twin and there is a gray and black um, combination twin um, and I think this is if you want to replace traditional pen nib feel and precision and texture this is like ideal thing to use I think this is absolutely adorable and I don't see it much I, I've seen it in Nara and after that I have to find and buy two or three more of these like absolutely the 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 the, the nib is I mean it's looking like zebra it's looking like everything so far we that we had but it's absolutely amazing I mean it's even more precise 
and the gray ink is kind of a warm gray so yeah th these drawings are done with this i want to show you examples but i'm not sure anymore um if that's necessary because i've been talking a lot and i already went through the travel journal uh, i found also uh something that is very um interesting uh also something like a zebra i mean it all looks the same but these two are the most similar and i suppose it's also kuretakia that they're from the same brand at least they, it looks like that um these are very soft it does it's not giving you pain when you draw ma many lines in a row like for one hour you don't feel the pain in your elbow or hand uh, from press pr from the pressure you have to make because there is no need for pressure so these two are super practical if you can find them somewhere online to buy um, this is so far the best buy and i think the most expensive one in here not online um they yeah this one all it was also like four or five bucks uh and this is absolutely amazing so i do recommend these three from the cheaper ones i highly recommend using this on daily basis for something more rough um this one this is from daiso and of course um of course the zebra I always use zebra i mean that's like yeah that's for me it's like a standard so i bought 10 of them to bring them home and i hopefully will have at the end at the end a little bit more money to buy five six or ten more of them to stock up and uh, yeah the last two that i wanted to review they look uh, like very similar with you know design and texture of the you know the thing the plastic but um yeah they also didn't this i bought uh, the bordo one i bought in uh osaka and it was 200 yen i think and it looks like this so uh the line is like very um sensitive to pressure it's uh it can be very thin line and very bold line and this that was 100 yen in Lawson 100 store does the same thing and it says Kuretake and here I don't know what they say but um, this this is obviously like the same thing that many other many, very few companies are producing in the same way so I do recommend that as well from the cheaper ones definitely like these three these four are 100 yen each and uh, i think they're marvelous like quality for the price is amazing especially if you're doing a lot of inking you have to think about the budget this one i do not recommend this is something i found in daiso and it's too let's say um i don't get it i don't get the concept uh, probably for writing is something that is show you. <clears throat> so at the beginning when you look at that it seems like you know like a regular felt tip but um you don't have really a control on a, on a better paper it just go goes a lot of ink goes out it's not purely black which though for sketches is not not a big deal but uh, yeah, I'm I'm going to use it, but it leaves a lot of texture, and uh, yeah, you cannot rely on the dynamics of the line completely. I mean, no. Uh, but yeah, and there is a it's a very um, super light, so I don't think there is enough ink inside to compare with others uh, when it comes to even if it's a low price, it does it's not worth it. I think. So yeah, thank you so much for um, watching for update. Uh, and next video will be about uh, when I finish this sketchbook and show you everything inside, which I'm very, <laughs> very curious what you think about. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching <clears throat> this update on my um, travel art supplies and uh, things I bought here. Thank you for sticking and looking at my uh, progress on travel, uh, illustrated travel. Uh, journal 
and I will be sharing that also under hashtag Japanuary, which Cakes with Faces uh, published um, in January a few days ago. And um, yeah, if you want to. If you want to, you can follow also or get back on Instagram and follow, um, see those posts uh, retro retrospectively when you, if you want. Um, it's definitely more fun on Instagram when you have a community or have a challenge where you can see each other's work or photos. And I do like how Cakes with Faces, the Amy. Uh, uh, Amy a designer and a traveler she's an expert about Japan and she really made it um, very uh, like a good, good approach for everybody to participate in so if you want join the Japan Yuri next year or this year and yeah see you in the next vlog bye